Hi guys, this is Daryl and welcome back to Book Odyssey. Today I'm looking at five epic military science fiction series recommended by you. I get a lot of fantastic recommendations from you guys, so I scoured through the comments of my military sci-fi must-reads video to bring you five epic military sci-fi series. The first on this list is the Honor Harrington series by David Webber, and this was recommended by Manal Gabriel. This 14-book military sci-fi series that began in 1992 with On Basilisk Station is set in a galaxy where humanity has migrated to other star systems and humans have been genetically adapted to survive the harshest of planetary environments. Faster than light travel has been acquired, however no means of faster than light communication exists and messages between systems must be physically carried by starships. Politically there are both dependent and independent governing institutions and numerous multi-planet star nations including Haven and the Solarian League. The stories are set around the space navy career of the main protagonist, Honor Harrington, a citizen of the star kingdom of Manticore, the key rival of the Republic of Haven. The first book in the series follows Honor after she's exiled to Basilisk Station in disgrace. Her crew blames her for their ship's humiliating posting to the far-off picket station and she finds herself amid opposing political forces. The next military sci-fi series on this list is the Frontline series by Marco Clus and this was recommended by Xavier CVT. The Frontline series consists of eight books and begins with Terms of Enlistment, first published in 2013. In the year 2108, the series begins in a future in which a Western and an Eastern power block are at war with each other and with an alien threat. In Terms of Enlistment, the protagonist Andrew Grayson, a welfare rat from the North American Commonwealth, has few options but to join the armed forces. But as he starts a career of supposed honour, he quickly learns that the good food and decent healthcare come at a price, and that the galaxy holds far greater dangers than military bureaucrats or the gangs that rule the slums. The stories accumulate to a violent interstellar conflict with a seemingly indestructible alien species, a bloody civil war over the last inhabitable zones of the cosmos, and political unrest. Up next is the Man Xin Wars series by Larry Niven and other authors, and this was recommended by Phil Smith. The Man Xin Wars is a series of over 50 short stories contained within over 20 anthologies, with the first story, The Warriors, written by Larry Niven and published in 1966. The stories detail the conflicts between humanity and the Xinti and are said to be set in Larry Niven's known space universe, despite the fact that Niven wrote only a few of the stories, with the rest being written by other sci-fi writers from Paul Anderson to Hal Kolbach and Greg Bear. The series revolves around four man Xin wars, as well as major and minor incidents between the humans and the Xinti, spanning 300 years from the mid-24th century to the mid-27th centuries. The first war begins amid the long peace of humanity, in which all dangerous technologies, histories, mental illnesses and media have been suppressed, along with it all violent crimes. So successful was this long peace that most humans didn't even understand the concept of weapons. The original story, The Warriors by Larry Niven, is set around the first encounter in space between humans and the Xinti. The Xinti, with vast technical superiority, including gravity drives, telepaths, and a large military empire, detect a human ship in deep space. After the Xin telepath learns the humans are unarmed and don't even understand the concept of weapons, they attempt to kill the human crew. However, the humans are not so easily defeated. Just before we head on to number four on this list, I wanted to do a quick honorable mention. Armour by John Stakely. Recommended by Solo Renegade was a military sci-fi pick that seemed popular by consensus. Although it's a standalone book rather than a series, I wanted to give it a shout out. Published in 1984, the story follows Felix, an Earth soldier encased in body armour designed to withstand Earth's most implacable enemy, a bio-engineered insectoid alien horde. But Felix is also equipped with internal mechanisms that enable him and his fellow soldiers to survive battle situations that would destroy a man's mind. 
Up next at number four is the Hammers Slammers series by David Drake, and this was recommended by Michael Sudsey Sutherland. The Hammer Slammers series of military sci-fi novels and stories focus on a mercenary armoured regiment in the 30th century. Each of the nine original novels follow the members of the Slammers, starting with the regiment's creation by the government of the planet Friesland to put down a revolt on the colony world of Melpamine. In the first Hammer's Slammers, published in 1979, the novel is split into a series of short stories which follows various characters and their interactions with the Slammer's regiment. After each short story is an interlude chapter which form a short essay that Drake uses to expand the world of the Hammerverse. Included in this book is the Slammer's beginnings. We follow Colonel Hammer as he transforms the unit into an independent mercenary organisation. Drake based the fiction on his experience in 1970 with the 11th Armoured Cavalry Regiment in Vietnam and Cambodia. Last on this list of five must-read military sci-fi series is the Poss Lean War series by John Ringo, and this was recommended by Mike Hoyle. The Poss Lean War series consists of five books with three side stories and has spawned several spin-off books, making up the legacy of the Aldenata series. The first four novels cover the Posseline War in which the aggressive alien species called the Posseline invade Earth. In the first, A Hymn Before Battle, published in 2000, Earth is introduced to extraterrestrial life by the Galactic Federation, who tell the leaders of the world that an invasion by another alien race, the Posseline, is coming. Earth's military forces are made available to the Galactics in exchange for technology to help stop the onslaught, but it's unclear just who can be trusted as the invasion nears. With Earth in the path of the voracious Posseline, the peaceful and friendly races of the Galactic Federation offer their resources to help the backward Terrans, for a price. Humanity now has three worlds to defend. As Earth's armies rush into battle and special operations units scout alien worlds, the humans begin to learn a valuable lesson. You can protect yourself from your enemies, but may the Lord save you from your allies. So that's it for this epic list. I hope you've found your next favourite military sci-fi series, so let me know in the comments. Thank you to everybody who takes the time to comment and for posting your fantastic recommendations. Please keep them coming. Until next time guys, happy reading.